Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amal Kumara. In this video, we are going to add micro frontend architecture in our Techlist project. To achieve that, we need to add at the rate Angular Elements package in our project. So let's do that first. To add the Angular Elements in our project, we'll run the command ng add at the rate Angular forward slash elements and we'll press enter. The command has successfully ran and this will add the required packages for building the web components using Angular elements. Now we'll do changes in some files. So let's start that. First of all, we'll open main.ts file. And here in the bootstrap module method, we'll add an object as a second parameter where the key will be ng zone and the value of it will be nook, that is no operation. This is required because ng-john may create some unexpected result with angular elements. So it is always advisable to stop it. We'll save the file and open the next file that is appmodule.ts file. Here we will remove all the components that is mentioned in the bootstrap array. Currently only app component is mentioned. So we'll remove that and we'll add a new key called entry components with an array value where we'll mention the app component. With that, we'll create a constructor in the class and we'll inject injector from Angular core package. So let's do that private injector and we'll inject injector from Angular core. Also, we'll have a method named ng do bootstrap inside which we'll create the custom element using Angular elements package. So first of all, we'll define a constant and we'll name it as take app We'll use the method create custom element from angular elements package and pass two parameters in it. First is the app component and second is an object where we'll pass the injector. That is this dot injector. As a second line, we'll use custom element dot define method. This method will also have two parameters. First is the custom element name, which we'll give as take hyphen list. You can give any name which you want. And this custom element selector will be given to this take app constant. So what we have done here, let's understand. Basically, we are creating app component as a custom element and storing it in a constant as take app. Now this take app can be used in any project with a selector as take hyphen list. We'll save the file and open the next file that is index.html. In index.html, we have to take care of this base tag where href value should be a single forward slash. And we'll comment this app root tag and add take list tag that we just created as a custom tag in app module.ts file. We'll save the file of index.html and open the next file that is app.component.ts file. Here we'll add another key in the component decorator that is encapsulation and will provide the value of it as view encapsulation from angular core dot shadow dom now what it does is suppose there is a css conflict in between the host application and the remote application this is the remote application we are creating now if it will be inserted into any host application then there is a chance that css will conflict with each other to prevent that we use shadow down feature which actually helps to distinguish between the css of host application and the remote application Let's save the file of component.ts file and start the server to check whether everything is working fine or not over the browser. So let's start the server. To start the server, we'll run the command ng s hyphen o. As we can see, our tech list app is working completely fine over 4200 port. Now in the next video, we'll add a package called ngx hyphen build hyphen plus, which will help us to build this web component architecture. So let's meet in the next video. Till that, be happy. Take care. Signing off.